MSMEs non bringing over 36.9 million account for 96.7% of all businesses in Nigeria. However, the authority invites several challenges, which include ballooning inflation, soaring energy costs, instability in the foreign exchange market, and lack of access to adequate funding. New Central's Perpetual Fasomi Peter spoke to leaders of business membership organizations on this issue and files in this report. Micro, small and medium enterprises, MSMEs, contribute over 45% to Nigeria's gross domestic product, accounting for nearly 90% of the jobs in the country, with 98.8% of them in the micro -keda. These businesses are, however, faced with significant challenges owing to so many factors, including the economic reforms being implemented by the President Bola Tinubu's administration. So we think that it is time for government to declare a state of emergency in that sector. It's not easy. Uh, I would have preferred if governments, before they made their pronouncements, had put in some kind of measure in place that would alleviate the problems in the energy sector. Paramount on the list of challenges is the limited access to funding. micro entrepreneur accessing funding in Nigeria is like a camel passing through the eyes of NATO. For instance, if you are going for back on free industry, the condition you are giving to micro to, to multinational companies, you are giving to a small business owner. How can we make up? That is why most times people like, or even I myself, I went to back of industry town with that number to apply for loan. Up to today, I'm not giving me a dime. Even you cannot project and plan for business because forest is not stable. Uh, in my hotel, I have a hotel. I now spend as much as 180 to 220,000 naira a day on diesel. If I'm able to save that in a bond, so you can imagine the kind of profit I will have, the kind of expansion that will come to my business. Taxes too is another thing. Multiple taxation is another issue Nigerian entrepreneurs are bedeviled with. This, however, may soon be over, saying that the Presidential Fiscal Policy and Tax Reforms Committee has submitted its quick wins report. So if government can harmonize taxes and don't it, do it in a single system payment, one-stop shop way, it is going to solve most of the issues we have with taxes. We don't really need loans with interest now. What we need now is intervention fund in form of grants or a single digit interest rate. Um, I have had cause to discuss with a lot of financial institutions and ask them, look, there's uh, the uh, register, asset register that has been set up by CBN. Why don't we start using that? Which allows you to use your equipment, like my machines and all that, as assets that can be uh, uh, used as collateral to get facilities from these banks. The growth of MSMEs in Nigeria has a significant impact on the country's economy, employment and security. It then behoves the government to unlock the constraints faced by these businesses and support them by making it progressively easier for MSMEs to start and grow their businesses so they can thrive and scale. Perpetua Fasami Peter reporting for News Central. Mm -hmm.